Really our goal for treatment with interventions in the whole spectrum is to provide a customized treatment care package for patients. When you look at the conditions we treat, they're common and they're prevalent. And I think we've been learning more and more about how prevalent they are over the last decade. The combination of technology and expertise now has brought to the forefront therapies and treatments that really make a difference. The joy that this profession brings to me is the ability to alleviate patients' pain. It's very rewarding to have that interaction with the patient. The Larry H. Miller Tour of Utah is the largest and I would suggest most prestigious professional bike race tour in the United States. We are one of three st states that have tours. It's a blast. It's, it's, it's very exciting. We had a mix of people here. We had uh, a bunch of people who were here to see the race specifically and, and get a good vantage point of the riders coming through Brian Head. I was actually next to some people who, um, who were just here visiting Brian Head. Uh, and I'm explaining to them that this big race is coming through and they got super excited when the racers come by. They were screaming and cheering and having a great time. Uh, it really is a blast. Mom's a crazy <laughs> cyclist and I love cycling and I found out the Tour of Utah was coming through. So we all had to come down. <laughs> they are amazing, especially in this weather, the wind. I can't even imagine that headwind coming up. I think it's really important to all get together and cheer them on, keep them going. We're um, right after their longest climb. We just spread out all over town and helped direct traffic and got to ring bells and hold signs and cheer on the riders. Each year, Miller Group has expanded and improved on the tour. This year, over 700 miles in seven days, seven stages. We plan a quality event and they bring their quality riders. The state of Utah gives us beautiful venues, and it's a challenge that they can't wait to accept. Uh, of, of course, uh, the race on altitude, so it's really hard for us because I'm from Holland and that's on sea level. So I'm for about two weeks now here in Park City, you get to get used to the altitude. And uh, yeah, I think we, we, we prepared really good for this race. When we came here the first three, four days, we did easy rides. Just not too fast, just to get, yeah, get used to it. And after a small week, we, we, we did some intervals and climbs and sprints, just like just the normal stuff you do on uh, sea level, but now on altitude. And you feel big difference. The power, you, the power output on this level is much lower than on sea level. So that's, um, uh, that's a little different. It's really cool. It's the first time for me in my career to, uh, to wear a leader's jersey. So I'm gonna enjoy it tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, Moreno Hoffman is your race leader here at the Tour of Utah.